So then she escaped and do not misunderstand. You are doing anything that any loving mother would do. But so then she escaped from the constant scrutiny into an environment that is not much less than constant. And what we would encourage you to do is see her as on her way to her autonomy and trust that she has guidance within her that you can trust and then watch for evidence of that. And we need to have boundaries. You know, she always wants from us and she's going to have to learn how to be on her own and not keep asking us for everything as well, a crutch. Here's the thing that's interesting about that because parents, as you see your children, you see yourselves, you identify yourselves to them as the vortex through which their well-being will flow. You feed them, you clothe them, you house them. And not only that, most parents want to educate them in terms of the way they should think about things too. In other words, you want to be the vortex through which they learn this life. And so you set it up that way and, and they learn it and learn it and learn it and learn it. And then one day you say, oh, well, now I don't want to be the vortex through which your well-being flows. You need to go find another vortex. And we say it's a bit abrupt. <laughs> Jerry and Esther for a while had the wonderful benefit of having what they called their bird herd. It was a group of chickens in the chicken yard and they loved watching these chickens. And one day, Henny Penny, a little black chicken, was herded by Big Bird, a big black rooster who looked just like her, only much, 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 much bigger. Big Bird herded Henny Penny over into the corner behind the air conditioner and stood there until she laid her egg. Ordinarily, she would lay her egg in the nest, but he would not allow it on this day. So she laid her egg behind the air conditioner and Jerry and Esther saw it happen. Mm -hmm. The next day, Big Bird herded Henny Penny back over behind the air conditioner where she laid another egg. And for 21 days, that rooster herded that little hen over there until she had laid 21 eggs. And then when she tried to leave, he wouldn't let her. He insisted that she stay there and sit on those eggs. So she finally gave in to his insistence and sat on the eggs and he would go gather things and bring them to her to eat. And she sat there for 21 days before the first egg hatched. And of those 21 eggs, seven little black chickens with little brown feet came out. Now, it is glorious to watch because these little fur balls are so adorable and mother is so interested in them. And every moment she is tending to them. She is herding them and picking for them and digging for them. And she would dig a little and they would rush in and then she would dig a little and they would rush in. And Esther was amazed that they weren't trampled by big mother and her big feet because these were such little tiny birds. And it was so fun to watch. And then one day, the little birds, gathered all up around their mother, waiting for her to dig so that they could get something. She just pecked them on the head. <laughs> and Esther said, Henny Penny, that is not very nice of you. These are your little children. They are waiting for you to give them something to eat. And she pecked them on the head. And the more dependent they were, the more she pecked them on the head until finally they said, all right already, we get it. You're going to peck us on the head as long as we stay anywhere near you. And so they went off a little way away from her where she kept a watchful eye, but she never again dug up anything for them to eat. Mm. And we say, Henny Penny is a perfect parent. Mm. Mm -hmm. In other words, at a very early age, she fostered their independence and nobody ever likes it on the first day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs>